Hey, welcome back. So to wrap up our series, we're going to look at how to create groups for our social website. That way, people of like mind can uh, create one group and discuss similar topics. Okay, so now instead of uh, starting the whole system from scratch, we're going to build on what already exists. So for example, if you notice, uh, if we get this same user profile right here, most of the functionality here is exactly what you'd need for a group. Because for example, uh, if we remove this profile image here and just leave the cover image here and we replace the name with the name of a group, then this could look like an actual group. Then we'll remove messages because we don't need messages for groups. And we don't need the follow button because we're going to have members instead. So all these goes out. And then we can change a few things here because instead of followers, we'll have members and about section and maybe settings and so on remain uh, kind of similar. Okay. So we will build upon what we already have here to make uh, a group because for example like the rest of this where we have uh, posts and deleting posts and so on this remains exactly the same okay all right so let's see how we can go about doing that so the first thing we have to do is edit our database in order to accommodate this new functionality now when editing our database we have to think in terms of the future okay because there are two ways to go about this i could create a new table for uh to create the groups so we can have a new groups table and then we can have another table for the posts that belong to the groups right but the issue here becomes when we have let's say notifications for that group then we'll have to build an entirely new system to accommodate those notifications that are from the group as well but if we build on what what's already here we can use we can leverage the same notification system and so on which is already working just fine uh, that way we do less work so what i'm saying is we're just going to modify the users table and the post stable and will be home and dry that way it can add in more information for groups so let's look at what we can change on the users table first so if we look at this users table actually didn't uh, realize that we don't add date when signing up so that's a bummer so what we will do is things like for example tag about likes and so on these things can remain for the group but we need a way in order to differentiate between a profile and a group if we are going to add groups in here so we will add one column here but what will that column say the column can say something like is group right the same way it says something like is image or has image or something like that the way we did it with uh, posts if i go to the post where we say has image and then we indicate a zero or a one to indicate that but for users if we say is uh, is group for example and then we check whether is group is true or is false then we know it's a group but the problem with that is it's not future proof. So this is the concept I want you to get. You have to think a step ahead so that when you do want to expand your system, it's not very difficult. So let's say, for example, we put one column that says is group for one and zero. Now, in case we want to add pages in future, we will still add them to the users table, but then we'll have to add another column that says is page. So you see where I'm going with this. It's better to have one column that will accommodate all that at once. And we can do that if we add a column that we can call type, for example, and then we put a particular type. So for example, these are profiles. We can put type is equal to profile. And then if we introduce pages, we just change type 
in that particular uh, row to page and then if we add a group we'll change it to group so that is future proofing our system so let's go to the structure here and let's add one more column so we can add a column anywhere here where we want by selecting uh, which column you want to add it after so maybe let's add it after gender there and click next and then this one is going to be a variable character type it's going to be called type and then I'll add variable character like that and for types since they're just going to be a few types for example there's going to be profile there's going to be group and page so if you look here profile is probably the longest we're going to have something like profile in terms of characters because group is much shorter and the page is even shorter so let's look at profile here and say profile that's how many one two three four five six seven that's seven characters so we're going to be generous and say we can accommodate 10 characters in here and then let's hit save okay so there we go our structure is good now we have a type so if i go to browse i will see that uh, type is empty so this will be an indicator that if the type is empty then we're probably looking at a user's profile or we can just tell it to save profile because all these that are already here are profiles so we can do a very simple sql now if you are uh if you're running this on an already existing uh system maybe let's say your website has been running for a year and then you want to add a few columns there edit this and that it's always a good idea to export your table before you start modifying things there because it's very easy to make mistakes especially if it's a live website so always export your content before you decide to edit it okay but since this is just a uh, for tutorial purposes we'll leave it as it is so here what we want to do is add profile to every column that says type so what we'll say is update users and then we're going to say set type is equal to let's put in brackets profile where id is greater than zero it's just a way to tell it that put profile on everything so let's hit go and if we come back to browse you see that we have profile on every column okay so that's good the only thing we need to add now is for every group we add this is going to say group instead of profile all right pretty good now second thing is we go to our posts table now in our post table we need a way as well to recognize uh, Oh, let me come back to users just a minute here. So the thing is, whoever creates a group, uh, user ID is going to determine who owns the group or who created the group because it's not a profile. It's just going to mean the owner. And then first name is going to accommodate the group title or the group name. So we won't have a gender we just leave the others open and then we'll just need a cover image and we will need a profile image so we will use the columns that we need and leave the ones that we don't okay for example email and password are, are not needed for a group so we we'll leave those empty and just use the ones we want so we don't really need a new table so let's go to posts now now inside posts uh, we still need a way to be able to tell uh, which posts belong to which group now here for now we have uh, where is this here post id oh wait a minute All right, so here we have user ID. I was looking for this user ID here. I couldn't find it. Okay, so we have user ID here, which tells us who actually posted uh, the 
the post who posted it now the problem with uh, groups is that we need more information than that so for example let's say this is a group here there are three things here we need one we need to know I don't know if it's three things but one we need to know which in which group was that post uh, added right the second one is who actually added that post there okay so which group it belongs to and who here we uh, we are currently just checking who posted the comment itself but we need to be able to know which group it was posted so we need another id here for owner for example okay who owns it so the owner is going to be these will live as it is user id is the one who posted but the owner is going to be the group that where it was posted so if owner is not empty then we know it's uh, it belongs to a group now another problem arises because we will if we want to expand the system we may need to add pages now the thing comes back again if uh, the page will also need to have an owner column so that we know which page actually posted that the, the page and then the person who posted that so now that would be a problem because it would be hard to tell uh, whether what posted was a page or was a group so in that po point you will need another column called type that way you can be very explicit to know that this is a group that posted this or this is a page that posted this okay all right so let's add one column here for owner so let me go to structure here and let's add one more so we'll add it just after user id this is optional you can add it anyway it doesn't really matter so, so this will be owner and it will have a big integer because it's going to house the id the user id of the group or the page that posted that so big int and hit save So let's go back to structure here. So owner is right there. Now we need an index for this because we'll be using it to search. So add an index there and go back to users and do the same thing. Let's add an index for type. Type right there, index, okay. Okay, so for now we're not going to add type to the posts. We're going to leave it as it is and see if we can still pull it off with just owner here. As you can see, owner currently is zero, which is fine. Okay, so I will see you in the next video where we begin adding actual code to correspond to what we've done to the database. I'll see you then.